Hello students, I'm Shudham Shushalkar, Assistant Professor, Department of Electrical Engineering, Narula Institute of Technology. Today I'm going to talk about a topic of Power System 1. So Power System 1 subject code is EE502. And uh, this subject is one of the most important subject of all the electrical engineers. So here, the lesson plan of this subject is given here. We have total module one, four, six, five, two, and eight. These are the topic. These are the module I will cover from this subject. So the first module there is basic concept of electrical supply system, then electrical design of overhead transmission line, and then cables, underground cables, now power system corona, generation of electric power, and finally the tariff. So these are the topics. I'm going to talk with you in the next few classes. So here the course outcome of our system one subject. Course outcome one, understand the concept of power system, no various power system components and define associated terms. Now, uh, know different types of power generation and understand basic performance of power system. These are the course outcome. If some students go through this course, they will be, these will be the outcome of that subject. Now, today's topic of discussion is a very important one. So you all are very much aware about the underground cable. It, is, it has a very important role in our daily life. Because in the underground cable used in so many places around us. So today's topic of discussion is the first one, a definition of underground cable, then the construction of cable, then the classification of cable. So these three topics I'm going to cover in the next half an hour. So let's start from the main part. So first try to understand that what is underground cable. I think all of you are very much familiar with this underground cable because you can find it uh, beside your home or some uh, different places you can see you can find this underground cable. So an underground cable essentially consists of one or more conductors. So what is this? One or more conductors. Look, if you consider this is our underground cable, so many cables are there. So how many conductors is there? One, two, three, four. So there may be one conductor for this particular cable. Look, it is only one conductor. Okay, but here it has three conductor. For this cable, it has four conductor. For this one, there is three conductor. So an underground cable essentially consists of one or more conductors covered with suitable insulation. So this conductor are also covered with suitable insulation. Look, this is the insulation part, the yellow color then blue color, then the red color, because we know that we uh, define our phase with red, yellow, blue, and neutral black. So covered with suitable insulation and surrounded by protecting cover. These are the protecting cover. Okay. So these are the different parts. So inside this is a practical, in the roadside, you will find this cable like this, cable line here, cable is here, so black color, these also the cables. So what is actually inside the cable, we are going to understand that part also. So it is an underground cable, essentially consists of one or more conductors covered with suitable insulation, covered with suitable insulation and surrounded by protecting cover. So we already discussed about the protecting cover. So I think now it is clear about that what is underground cable. Now the construction, the second term is the construction of cable. So uh, the cable is, the constructional part is divided into six main different section, total cable. First one is core or conductor. Look, where is the core? 
this part called the core this is the core so it's a three core cable core or you can say conductor then the second one is insulation here the paper insulation paper insulation is there that means the core is covered by a uh, insulation then metallic sheet metallic sheet this is the metallic sheet part of the cable the metallic sheet i think you can understand this each part is called the metallic sheet now the bedding so all part has its own purpose so bedding which one is bedding this part is called the bedding this one is the bedding we will discuss all this topic within few minutes that what is bedding what is the purpose of it how it is what is the material of this bedding all these terms now the armoring armoring you know which one is armoring armoring is the another constructional part of the underground cable this especially this part is called the armoring this one this section is called the armoring section and the last one is the serving serving is the upper surface of the cable that is called the serving this part is the serving so in this way we can uh, construct a cable or this is the main part of a cable so the first one is core or conductor then the insulation is coming after that the metallic sheet then bedding then armoring and finally serving so these six part they are for a cable now we'll start from the first one that is the core so try to understand that what is the core of a cable here this is the core of a cable the core or conductor so which one is the core the core is the this part the most internal part of the cable is called the core now a core may have one or more than one the cable may have one or more than one core or conductor depending upon the type of service for which it is intended that means it is totally depending on that what is the purpose where we are using this cable so if single phase required then single conductor will be there if three phase required three conductor will be there like this for instance the three conductor cable show in below figure yes this is three conductor cable i already show you this is one of the conductor this is one another conductor and third conductor so these are the three conductor is here inside the cable so for instance the uh, three conductor cable shown in below figure is used for three phase circuit so three conductor cable you all know that uh, we have single phase connection and three phase connection so for three phase service we used this type of three conductor cable now the conductors are made of tin copper or aluminium so what are the material this conductor the conductor the inside internal part that is the core is normally made by copper or aluminium and are usually stranded into stranded in order to provide flexibility of the cable so this is the basics about the core or conductor you can say for uh, underground cable now we are moving to the next part that is the insulation or you can say the paper insulation as for the figure it is showing that it's a paper insulation so which part is the insulation part you can identify the insulation part this is the insulation the material which covered the core or conductor that is the insulation here so each core or conductor is provided with a suitable thickness of insulation so it's need suitable thickness 
suitable thickness of insulation the thickness of layer depending upon the voltage to be withstand so it is basically depending upon the thickness of the layer that means what will be the layer of the paper insulation the thickness of that is depending upon mainly on the voltage is voltage to be withstood by cable okay the mostly used material for insulation are impregnated paper so what are the material we can use for this paper insulation the first one is impregnated paper then varnish cambric this is the second one the varnished cambric or sometime we can use the rubber mineral compound so these are the three material commonly used for cable as a paper insulation so <clears throat> in this way we can uh, learn about the insulation or paper insulation of the cable underground cable next the third part we are actually considering from the inner part to outer part so the first was the conductor of the core the second one was the insulation what is the first one the first one was the this is the first part that is the polar conductor this is the second position paper and then the metallic sheet or you can say the lead sheet so what is actually this lead sheet you need to understand that in order to protect the cable from a moisture gases or other damaging liquid acids or alkalis in the soil and atmosphere a metallic sheet of lead or aluminium is provided over the insulation as shown in bigger figure so it has a very important role the lead sheet or metallic sheet has a vital role for underground cable because it is actually using for the protection purpose which type of protection so what is that particular protection it is actually protect the cable from the moisture from the gases which are inside the soil and other damaging liquids like acids and alkalis in the soil and atmosphere maybe sometime we use this cable in the atmosphere in the open air so there is a chance for the uh, uh, for damaging uh, so it also protect from the atmosphere so soil when it is inside so outside then also it needs some protection from the moisture from the gases or alkalis or acids so from this uh, harmful material or this from or the situation a metallic sheet or lead or aluminium is provided over the insulation as shown so this way we can cover the paper insulation and the name of that is the lead sheet so it is actually basically using for the protection now the next part the next most important part of the cable is that is called the bedding the question is what is bedding bedding you can find bedding it's like a net here it is a bedding so this is the bedding this is the bedding okay so this total part is the bedding called the bedding of the cable okay now uh, why we use this bedding let's talk on this over the metallic sheet so metallic sheet is already completed why for protection purpose so over the metallic sheet is applied a layer of bedding which so over the metallic sheet we use the layer of bedding which consists of a fibrous material like jute so what is actually the bedding it's a fibrous material like jute or hessian tape sometime it is a jute material sometime it is a hessian tape the purpose of bedding is to protect the metallic sheet against corrosion and from mechanical injury due to armoring okay so it is also using for the protection purpose the bedding is actually protecting the lead sheet so all are related so <clears throat> as a protecting material we used the bedding inside the cable underground cable and the 
material is used or made by the fibrous material like jute or hessian tape it is the purpose of this bedding is also protection protect the metallic sheath against corrosion from fire corrosion and from mechanical injury due to armoring so this is the purpose next we are moving to the armoring part so this is the armoring part of the cable so here over the bedding so now we know that we are coming from the inside to the outside so first one was conductor second position was the second material that covered the insulation that was the paper insulation uh, conductor paper insulation then for the protection of the paper insulation we used this uh, lead sheet and after that the, for the protection of the lead sheet we used the bedding and now the armor over the bedding so it is obviously over because we are moving inside to outside so over the bedding armoring is provided which consists of one or two layers of galvanized steel wear or steel tape so what is actually this over the bedding armory is provided which consists of one or two layers so how many layer it may be one layer or sometimes it may be two layer of galvanized steel wear or steel tape this means of the material will be used for armoring its purpose is to protect the cable from mechanical injury so why we use this is also using as a protecting material so its purpose is to protect the cable from mechanical injury while laying it and during the course of handling so maintenance is required sometimes so when maintenance is required maybe sometimes uh, some damage may occur for some other works like uh, when drainage system was developed or if the telephone line is also going to the underground so for the maintenance purpose of the telephone line uh, telephone wear or for the uh, drainage work sometime uh, there is a chance for the mechanical injury of the cable and to protect from that situation um, we normally use this armoring or line and during the course of handling okay so armoring may not be done in case of some cable so it is not found all the time and everywhere sometime uh, in some cases this armoring may not be done so it is not so important but for the protection purpose uh, area basis we can uh, design the cable we can buy the cable that uh, some area the busy area where the maintenance is frequently done for that places for that purpose for that um, situation we need to use the cable where the armoring is there because then it will be more protected than without armoring but it is not mandatory but if we use this but sometimes uh, the costing is depending on it that if we use the cable with armoring the costing will increase obviously so we have to remember that part also now the last cover of the cable is the serving uh, the external part so in order to protect armoring from atmospheric condition so why we use armoring in order to protect again the protection armoring protect armoring from atmospheric condition a layer of fibrous material like jute yes so jute similar to bedding so bedding was also uh, fibrous material like jute uh, to bedding is provided over the armoring this is known as serving so this situation is called the serving so here the last part or the external part of the cable is called the serving and it is also using as a protecting purpose and the material is used material is made by the fibrous material like jute and it's acting as like same like the bedding now <clears throat> here the classification of cables cables for underground service may be classified in two ways <clears throat> so what are the two ways in number one the type of insulating material used in their manufacture 
So this is one of the type. And the second type is the voltage for which they are manufactured. However, so first one is the type of insulating material. So it is depend on that the type of insulating material used in their manufacture. The second type, the voltage for which they are manufactured. This is one of the important. So depending on this, the cable is divided into these two parts. One is the insulating type of insulating material, and the second one is the voltage for which they are manufactured. However, the latter method of classification is generally preferred. This method, the voltage for which the they are manufactured, according to which cables can be divided into the following groups. So, uh, according to the voltage level, we can also divide the cables. Here is the division. So, how can we divide according to the voltage level? Because according to the voltage level, it is divided into five different sections. Number one is low tension cable, then high tension. Low tension, then high tension. The next one is super tension, then extra high tension, and finally the extra super voltage. Extra super voltage. So these are the division, the classification as for the voltage. We can classify our underground cable. So first one is low tension cable. The uh, shortest name is LT, and here the voltage level we can use up to 1000 volt. Second one is high tension cable and it is up to 11,000 volt. And then super tension cable is used for 22 kV to 33 kV and extra high tension cable is used for from 33 kV to 66 kV. 33 kV to 66, that is the extra high tension. And the finally, super extra super voltage cable is beyond 132 kV. So these are the classification as for the voltage of the cable. Now, this is another classification. A cable may have one or more than one code depending upon the type of service for which it is intended. It may be, we already discussed this, a single core cable, two core cable, three core cable, and four core cable. So these are the differences of cable. Look here. The first one is single core cable, second one is two core cable, then the third one is the three core cable, and the fourth one is the four core cable. So these are the four types of cable you can classify uh, depending on this. For a three phase service, either three single core cable or three core cable can be used depending upon the operating voltage and load demand. Look, this is very important. When it is a three phase line, either three core cables we can use that means this is a single core cable either three single core cable it's a single core cable why it is single core because only one core is there look inside the cable only one core inside the cable there are two cores okay so in this way if three core is there inside the cable then it is three core if four core is there or conductor is there then it should be a four core cable so for a three phase connection if the connection is three phase we can use three single core cable or three core cable itself so two option is there for a single phase we can use three separate single uh, if it, uh, for a three phase supply we can use three separate single phase or a single three core cable so this is the most significant part for cable can be used depending upon the so it is basically depending upon the voltage and load demand. So as per the voltage and load demand, we have to calculate, we need to design the system, and then we can implement the system as per the requirement of the system and the situation. So all these things we need to remember because this chapter is basically, you have to uh, use the concept of this chapter when you will become an engineer and uh, when you will move to the you will work as a professional. Now, as a reference, I consider the book Principle of Power System by BK Mehta and Ruth Mehta for this, uh, for the making of this um, particular uh, lecture. So, in this lecture, I think uh, you at least gather some knowledge regarding this 
underground cable and it will help you a lot in your future life and i request to all of you please uh, read this chapter very carefully because in your professional life after completion of your btech degree if you um, get a chance to uh, serve an electrical industry then uh, the cable fault the laying of cable that will be a very big issue so please gather the knowledge right now then it will be very helpful for all of you for your future life so thank you all and uh, if you have any problem regarding this lecture you can contact with me anytime you can talk with me anytime so no problem will be there for that uh, i will be available for all of you so thank you again and good luck everybody